Hello, in the last video we discussed about intents and entities. We created three intents, greetings, ask for book recommendations and thank you and bye, which were denoted by hash symbols. Entities, which are denoted by at the rate symbol, we created only one entity, which is book genre. This is the subject of the chat between a user and our chatbot. In the subject, we are going to identify if the user is looking for mystery, horror, fiction, kids, psychology and other book genres. Finally, in the last video, we designed a dialogue. We have not created it, but we designed a dialogue wherein you would see that welcome and anything else are default nodes provided by IBM chatbot. And then we are going to create a node for greeting and thank you and bye. Followed by or in between them, we are going to create book recommendation. So these are all intents and then you have entities where if you identify the intent of the user as book recommendation, then the, you have to understand the genre. So we thought of genre as a big case statement or switch statement. So case mystery, then recommend book one, two and three. Horror, recommend seven, eight, nine. Kids, or if you are not sure of the genre, ask for the user for a specific genre. With this idea in mind, let's go and create dialogue. So in the dialogue tab, for your skill, add, click on create. Please see that the welcome and anything else nodes already appeared. If I click on the node, you would have three different sections. You will have welcome as a name of the node. You can change it. If the assistant recognizes welcome, this is the condition, then, so remember it, we mentioned about if then else statement. So if assistant recognizes welcome, then respond with this text. So you can try it out over here. You can see that Watson is training. So let it train a bit. We are gonna come back to it again in a minute. The first one we are gonna do is add a node. And this node would be for greetings. So let's see how to do that. So I'm gonna say add node greetings. Now, if the assistant recognizes, I'm going to use hash for intents, add for entities, and there are variables which we are going to talk about in the next video, but for now intents, hash greetings. So if the Watson assistant recognizes greetings, then responds with the text. You say, hi. How can I help you? Or I can say, hi, are you looking for books? I can help you. And then close this. So I have created a node where it says if the Watson assistant recognizes greetings, then just say this response. Let's add one more node for thank you. So I'm going to say thank you. And thank you. So if the node recognizes hash thank you, then you would say Thank you. I'm glad that I was able to, able to help. And then let's try it out. So you have, and please note that it's a flow. So when there is a chat between a user and the Watson assistant, it's going to start with welcome, greetings, thank you, and anything else. So it's in the flow. So if a greeting is recognized, it's going to hold. If a thank you is recognized, it's going to hold there. If nothing is recognized, then it says anything else. And let's see what in anything else. 
In anything else, it says, I didn't understand, you can try rephrasing. Can you reword? I didn't get your meaning. These are the responses. So for now, let's do a quick trial. Sometimes refreshing the browser window may help if you see Watson is constantly training. So I clear it for the first time. You see, it says, hello, I can, how can I help you? It's in the welcome. So it says, hello, how can I help you? And then if I say hi, you see that it identifies that I'm greeting. The intent of the user is greetings. And that therefore it says, hi, are you looking for books? I can help you. I can say, hey. Again, it says the same thing. And then because it's saying the same thing over and over again, it may not sound good. So you, you want to make it appear as if you are talking to a person on the other end. So you would go to greetings and add different types of things. So say, hi. I can help you with books. What, which genre are you looking, genre are you looking for? So you can set these responses as random so that it can pick anything based on whatever, you know, on a random mechanism. So. I try again, I say hi, and hey, you can see that you are getting two different responses for the same intent. Now, you can add more, which we are gonna talk about that later. Let's clear it one more time. Clear, it says, hello, how can I help? So when you want to do a good chatbot design, what you would do is in the welcome note, you're going to tell the user what this chatbot is going to be used for. So let's rephrase this as, hello, I'm a book or recommend engine. I can help you with book recommendations for various genres. What kind of books are you looking for? Now, the next time when you come in, it's going to say that. So that's your welcome. And the user says, hi or hey, it's gonna give you a response. And then if you say mystery, you can see that it identifies mystery as the book genre, but it does not have a response because even though it identifies the intent as well as entity, but you do not have an option to respond back, so dialogue can be considered or is considered as a response based on your recommendation or genre, all right? So we're gonna deal with that later. So I didn't understand you can rep try rephrasing as anything else. That means anything else is triggered because it does not have a response for this intent or entity. Interesting, getting things interested here. So let's do thank you. So I'm gonna say thank you. And it says, thank you, I'm glad that I was able to help. Obviously it did not help me, but at least it's responding. So we got the basic frame. Now let's do a bit deeper on the book recommendations. So I'm gonna create a node and let's follow the flow of this one. So welcome, greetings, thank you, and anything else, I'm gonna do book recommendation. So I'm gonna add a node add a node and I'm going to say recommend books and if it identifies book recommendation intent and here in the text response I'm going to say sure that's it and just try it out so you can use a arrow key to find out what you recommended the last time so I'm going to say, I am looking for mystery books. It says, sure, because obviously it does not know what to do next, but it is able to identify 
book recommendation as the intent and entity as mystery. So at this point in time, you see that all of these are intents. Now, let's do further deep down on recommending books based on genres. So I'm going to say add a node. But please note that in our design, the book genre would come inside this book recommendation. So I'm going to say add a child node. So click on add a child node and then name this node as books by Jenner. And I'm going to say if it identifies this time intent book Jenner. So if it knows that it's a Jenner, then respond. But then there are multiple Jenners possible. So let's go to the entity. And so in the book Jenner, there are so many Jenners possible. So for each Jenner, the type of book recommendations would be different. And that is where we would use the conditional statements. So please note that only this node has a child node. That's why you will see this arrow expand it. Click on it. So it's going to be a switch statement, right? So I'm going to say customize here. Multiple responses because based on the genre, you would respond with different books. Uh, please note this one. Mystery, B1, B2, horror, you know, based on what the genre is. So let's do that. I'm going to say multiple responses. Say apply. And then I'm going to go deeper. So I'm going to say at book genre colon. If it is mystery, I'm going to say mystery books. For now. I'm, I'm going to add responses later and I'm going to say add more at book genre. If the book genre is horror, you would say horror books for now. There's just a placeholder. I'm going to replace this with the recommendation on the books. I would say at book genre for kids. Then I, I'll add one more time at book Jenner for young adult. And you can see that I don't have to type also. I'm just using the available option. So I'm going to say uh, book for kids, books for kids, and uh, book for teenagers. And I'm going to say at book Jenner is... Um, memoir and I would say you know so in this way I'm going to add options and I'm going to close this the Watson is going to train itself let's say that I'm looking for mystery books there you go it says sure well I just told him that for mystery books, show me an output as mystery books, but it says sure. Hmm. Let's try it one more time. Why does it say? Sh oh, now it says mystery books, but let's do it again. Sure. So why it says one time mystery books and the time sure? That's kind of crazy it is not because in the recommend books it says wait for user input so for the first time here it goes into the node but it waits for the waits for the user input the next time when you say mystery books it says you know again the same statement it's now it's in the node once it hits this node Again, it resets its status state. So that's why you would see one time sure and one time mystery books. So what I'm going to do is I'm not for recommend books node. As soon as an intent or entity is identified, I'm going to say jump. Do not wait for the user input. So jump to. It says select an origin if the assistant recognizes condition. 
so let's look at one more time recommend books jump to books as soon as it identifies the genre so let's do it one more time I'm looking for mystery books and this time you would see that directly it goes to the mystery books let me let me clear it one more time and let's show you I'm looking for mystery books sure mystery books next time sure mystery books right I'm, I'm gonna say uh, I'm looking for books for kids books for kids so at least it's now able to identify the books for kids so now what I have done is as part of good design I have already listed the books and I'm going to change it so instead of just responding mystery books I'm going to respond with some books so you can see here on a on a book on, on an excel uh, text file I have listed down all the books based on the genres so let's copy this for mystery and horror and just paste it so for mystery and horror so I'm going to paste these ones but if you look at it both are the same why do I need to have two different uh, recognitions or responses so I'm going to say mystery or at I think it's double so double pipes a pipe book genre horror and I'm going to get rid of this horror because for mystery and horror I'm going to respond with the same books so let's do it one more time there you go so for mystery books or for horror books there you go please note that uh, this is case sensitive so I had a uppercase H and so this is the horror and the mystery as the same recommendation now let's do a quick test as if so I am hi it's gonna identify I'm looking for horror books oh I got it thank you and if you see here even though I misspelled thank you it's identified it clearly because we are using fuzzy match so this is a very simple flow of this in the next video we're gonna add a bit more complexity and we will see how to handle this and in the videos to come we're gonna talk about using variables understanding system variables and a lot more I hope this was helpful at least at this stage you have a chatbot which is not fully built but it's good enough for having other people in your team or colleagues friends to go ahead and test it thank you for watching